Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. In the last episode, I made, or we made our way halfway through Cherry Lake, where we found this toad who was hanging on the airship. Oh, ah, my... He, he lost his clothes and went giving some of them back to him, but he has more to find. Okay, sorry, didn't mean to talk to him this quickly, but let's go. Ah, my overdrive gravity boots. Using those, I can harness the power of gravity to stay on the ground. So, they're just normal shoes, then? Okay, this Justice Toad fella is a weird guy. We also got his pants. Behold, the Mega Splendiferous Tights! Crucial for protecting my heroic hind quarters. Yeah, those are underwear. You're just wearing two pairs of underwear. Um... This, this guy's a bit creepy. Let's just leave him alone for now. So in this episode, we are going to look around Cherry Lake for more of his clothing, I guess. And we're going to start off going in this direction. Now, we could also head to the bottom right, but we'll save that for later. There are also two mini paint stars to be aware of. Journal of Justice. From the shadows of darkness, a hero rises to protect those who cannot protect themselves. This hero harnesses the power of justice to strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. Plus, he looks really, really cool, and everyone wants to be best friends with him. When bad guys appear, he fights without fear! Here we go, a new enemy who gets to attack us! Here comes a bad guy now. Let's see how you like this. Hardcover Justice Missile! Yikes! That hurt quite a lot. I think the general rule is blocking does half damage. So if I block an attack, just double that, and that's how much it does. This guy has a fair bit of health, so I think I will actually need two cards for this battle. But, you know, it's still a shy guy. So let's just use the standard cards. Yes! This should be good enough now. Awesome! I don't know if him blocking those attacks makes a difference or not with the jumps. There we go, and this journal, seeing as it's had a lot of justice in it. Yes, this is the hero's journal. That must belong to that weird toe back there. But, whoa! Okay, heading onwards this way. Let me, I, why did I? Okay, still made it through. I didn't mean to hammer that one. I believe that colorless spot there is the only thing over here. So let's just make our way back. Now, as I was trying to say, keep hammering that to get that to appear. I do not think there's any more items that Justice Toad has left behind. I could have sworn you didn't have a helmet on when we were over to the left. Um, well, we don't need to fight you because there's nothing over there. Look, it's a red mini paint star, so Cherry Lake does have one. Um, I kind of thought it would. The map said there's two, and, well, we've been getting the red ones all game. Anyway, I'll have to wait for this water wheel as it doesn't quite line up. Uh, I'll... Please, please, stay. Ooh. Okay, I didn't think Huey would go, oh, okay, it's not lined up. But nope, he had to butt in. I was really worried that water wheel would just keep moving and there was nothing that I could do about it. Anyway, I've got to say, that background looks quite nice. But with that, we've already got a mini paint style, uh, like, Four minutes into the episode. That didn't take long whatsoever. So let's collect our rewards and see where this takes us. Okay, going right. What's it gonna be? I don't see anything there. Huh. Usually there's something that fits. Like the archway from Ruddy Road, I guess, but okay. We have the Crimson Tower, and by the looks of that symbol, 
It is a big paint star. Now, I am gonna go back to Cherry Lake, guys, don't worry, but I highly recommend you go do this right now. Get the red mini paint star and then go straight here. Trust me, it'll save time and multiple trips. Mario, I can smell a big lot of paint beyond that gate. It smells like red paint. Way stronger than that red mini paint star that led us here. The red big paint star must be in the crimson tower beyond this gate. You got it. Let's just fill in this first. Three hammer strikes. Can't do anything else about that. Mario, look at this gate. Is it just me, or do these look kind of like weird mushroom-shaped keyholes? Maybe the gate will open if we find those three keys. Now that Huey has said this, that will uncover something very important for us in Cherry Lake. But we also have this guy. <gasps> you! You're Mario! I came here from Port Prisma to... Wait, why did I come here again? Oh yeah, I came to see the bridge to the Crimson Tower. It's supposed to be a truly remarkable bridge. Any bridge builder worth their salt has studied it. But while I was trying to open this gate, some guy snuck up on me with a straw. But then you came along and saved me, so thanks for that. Wait, if you came all the way here from Port Prisma just to see a bridge, are you some sort of bridge builder or something? You'd better believe it! I'm a bridge builder by trade! A real bridge repair guru! Port Prisma was attacked and the bridge in the blue district was destroyed. It's kind of a problem. What? This is an emergency! I have to get back to Port Prisma. Just you wait, bridge! I'll fix you up real nice-like. And he's off! Cool, that will allow us to access the rest of the blue district. Which actually hides another mini paint star for us. But that's not what we're doing today. No, sorry. Actually, depending on how long I spend in Terry Lake, we might be doing that today. But as I enter a level that I've already completed, there are two things I'd like to point out. One, I'm back at the start. Yay, but as Huey's actually telling us, Instead of having to go back to the entrance to leave like I just did at the Crimson Tower, from anywhere in this level, I can now press pause to go straight to the world map. Why on earth is there a save point in this in the second room? Anyway, I will see you guys over by just as toad. <gasps> okay, on my way back, I got a Cooper Trooper card. That effectively does what I showed off the Cooper Troopers doing. But hey, very, very nice card to have. Turns out I also missed this colorless spot last time. Good thing about that, huh? Okay, and I believe there is Justice Toad right there. Although he is still missing one thing apart from the Hero's Journal. So. Let's head over this way as we can find another area right after I paint this block. Please give me something good. That's actually pretty good colored in. I don't typically use KO hammers because it only hits two enemies. A really good use of a hammer will hit. I just have to fight these guys. Whoa, um, that's not a, another, um, dude thing. Ah, uh, the soggy guys. No, I guess this is technically a new enemy then? We have a blue slap guy. It's exactly the same as the red slap guys, except it's blue. Which means it ha- Oh, God, I missed- it steals our blue paint for a start, so actually more interesting than any other colored Shy Guy. Who knew? But the blue slurp up guys are special in particular as they drop they drop blue slurp guy. What? Oh, that was a normal jump. I was wondering why I killed him in one shot, even if he was a slurp guy. They have a possibility of. Uh, that wasn't the card I wanted. I will go get that in. No! Please don't despawn. Okay. 
I should be able to get that hammer later. No, it's uh, fine. I don't care too much about a single hammer. You don't typically have to worry about battle cards unless they're, ooh, they're all colored in too. That's very nice. As you know, the more powerful cards do have more paint used up in them. Now, there is an enemy over here I would like to show in battle. I think it's this one. Yes! This Koopa here. There is a downside to using Koopas in battles. Which I will now, unfortunately, designate. You see that fence at the back there? Get ready to block! If there is any kind of wall or fence behind the Koopa, behind the end, oh, that was definitely worth it. If there's any kind of enemy at the back of the stage like that, not enemy, um, wall or fence, make sure you block when using a Koopa or anything else that spins across the stage like that, as it will come back at you and it can catch you off guards very easily. But nothing else down here it seems. So you are gonna stay in that pattern. And again, I, I'm, I'm used to fighting every enemy that I don't have a battle card for. But, you know, it doesn't do much when their drop rate is slow, so low. Is it possible to paint this without fighting you? No, no it is not. Okay. What shall we use this time? I don't want to waste a Koopa on a single anim enemy, so how about I use... What do I have to use? I think I will use, for some reason, a triple worn out jump. I mean, they do take a little bit more damage than the usual enemies, but I, I mean, I, it's, I don't even have to try with that card. We have a few of them, it's okay. Worn out jumps aren't that great, although the multi ones are very nice until you get multi versions of the normal cards. And with that, I missed a colorless spot here, but thankfully I saw it before I missed it for good. The lake has been filled up, thankfully. We can also, I say thankfully quite a lot. I'm just such a thankful person. Now in the reflection, we can see this vest or jacket, whatever it is. My guess is a vest. It's the Toad's vest. Now that is everything Justice Toad requires from us. But before we head back, make sure... You, oh, also, if you want to jump back up there for to get an item or a color spot, don't break those blocks. I just have to break everything though. Anyway, I believe that is all the color spots in this map. We'll find out once we head up here and grab... Um, wow, there's a mini blue mini paint star here. So Cherry Lake has a red and a blue mini paint star? But it's too far away to reach. Hmm. Okay, I guess that text is slightly different if we get the blue one, if we come here before getting the red one. But there's nothing we can do about that. So how about we return Justice Toad's items back to him? Let's hand back the toy's vest. Ah yes, that's my legendary chest armor, the hyper fabulous jacket. Uh, that's just a normal vest, man. You tell him, Huey. The hero's journal. Ah, my heroic journal. That's uh. Just something I was doodling in. Don't worry about it. Ta-da! Behold my super justice suit! Now, stand back citizen, justice throat, savior of Prism Island, has returned to crush evildoers. This is getting embarrassing. Don't hesitate to light the justice signal if you're in need of help. Nothing lies beyond the reach of the long arm of justice. Bah, you're a hoot. Though I guess we actually do need some help right now. 
There's a blue mini paint star nearby that we just can't reach. Got anything up your sleeve? Wh what? Someone actually wants my help? <coughs> I mean, sounds like a job. Food lost us, Toad. Let's go. Um. Okay then, let's head back over there. Here we go. You needed some help with this star, right? It certainly is a little far out there. But don't worry, this star is no match for the power of justice! Um, right. Look, this whole superhero thing is cute and all, but... Stand back! Okay, we don't have time for this. Later, Justice Boy. <laughs> what? That was amazing! You moved the paint star! Whoa! I actually did it! I mean... I wished really hard, but I didn't think I actually had superpowers. So I... I really am a hero! Incredible! And it seems you're also part unicorn, although your horn is kind of crooked. I really thought you were just a crazy person. But wait a sec. Your horn! It's the same shape as one of the keyholes in the gate to the Crimson Tower. Mr. Justice, your powers may be needed at the Crimson Tower. The Crimson Tower, huh? It's close enough to walk, but forget that. I've got superpowers now! Justice takes flight! Um... Okay, well, that was certainly something. Um, let's see where the blue mini paint star takes us. So we have been following the red ones. And he will now be waiting for us at the Crimson Gate, but that's only one of three keyholes we are keeping an eye out for. So, let's keep our eyes open for two other toads who might fit that shape. But over here, we've a- wow, that's a bit of distance. That's a big place too. This is... Once I can walk over to it. Oh, hey, look at that. Cherry Lake's colourless spots have been 100% filled in. The game's telling me colour is spelt C-O-L-O-R, which is probably some translation thing. It, I, I say O-U-R because I'm Australian. Anyway, we have unlocked Blue Bay Beach, which we will not be going to in the next episode. But look at that, guys. This island is going quite nicely, getting a nice bit of colour to it. I think next time though, we make a return to Port Prisma and check out probably where this other mini paint star will take us. So this has been Spiraling Helix. I will see you guys next time everybody. Bye bye.